What a scene tonight of broken water main sending water gushing onto Smallman Street in the Strip District. A section of Smallman is closed tonight and many businesses in the area are without water. When the pipe first broke, it looked like there was a river going down the street or that the river had overflowed its banks. Water stretched from the produce terminal to the shops on the other side of Smallman. Water also covered parking areas, left cars stranded looking like islands. Ralph Iannotti is live in the Strip tonight with an update on the repairs. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much, guys. Uh, heavy equipment has been brought in tonight uh, by the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority and by contractors uh, to start this repair work on this major water main break in the strip, strip district, rather, on the Smallman Street. This is right near Lydia's restaurant behind me and uh, Woolley's Fish Market. As of right now, a section of Smallman Street has been closed to traffic uh, as uh, this repair work is now underway here. A gushing geyser on Smallman Street in the heart of the Strip District turned the street into a river after a 36-inch water main ruptured near 16th Street. The flooding forced the closing of the busy street as crews worked for over an hour to isolate the break and locate the valves so they could shut off the flow of water. The flooding occurred in an area where the city is improving parking, biking lanes, and pedestrian pathways. It's also close to the Produce Terminal Building now undergoing a major renovation. Looking down from the 16th Street Bridge, if one didn't know better, you would have thought the Allegheny River had overflowed its banks. Some strip district parking lots were not immune to the flooding, and people whose cars were temporarily marooned by the high water were understandably frustrated. Afraid, <laughs> not sure how I'm going to get my car out, but I asked if I could remove it. And I was told, no, it could float away. Mine is the little one over there. Some businesses in the immediate area of the water main break and flooding were also affected. Gaucho's restaurant at the corner of Penn Avenue and the 16th Street Bridge closed early because of low water pressure. For a while, it was scary. A customer came up to the front counter and said, hey, guys, the street behind the restaurant is flooding. If you're parked there, make sure you move your car. And then another lady came after her screaming because I guess she was more upset. The Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority said late tonight that Smallman Street between 13th and 21st Street, a nine block stretch, is closed to all traffic until work is complete. And no word from the PWSA on what may have caused this water main break here earlier this evening or how long the repair work will take. Now, if you rely on Smallman Street for your morning commute, well, join us for our early news tomorrow morning beginning at, beginning at 4.30 for updated traffic information. We're live tonight in the Strip District. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA News.